You never quite know when you're going to need a hand out on the water, just like 22 people found out this past week, including students from Alexandra College in Western Victoria, when the crew of 22 was out on a dolphin watching tour, when all of a sudden the vessel they were on's engine compartment wound up catching on fire. The captain quickly called out for help, and fortunately there was a local ferry in the area who was able to swing by and pull all 22 passengers off this vessel safely. Fortunately in this situation, no injuries were reported thanks to the quick acting crew crew aboard the ferry. Fortunately also as well, the Dolphin tour boat was eventually able to get itself back to the dock. An amazing story just like some of the things we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week of course is going to take us over to Maryland where this was the tragic scene just a few days ago when the 948 foot cargo vessel Dolly wound up crashing into the Francis Scott Key Bridge after leaving the port of Baltimore when the vessel wound up losing power. The vessel wound up leaving port at approximately 1 a.m with a harbor pilot on board. There's video image out here showing though there definitely was some sort of mechanical failure as we see the entire vessel power down in the images right here as it begins to approach the bridge. During that video interaction, there's actually several times where the power comes on and off to the vessel, leading us to believe that possibly they were having some sort of mechanical error. The backup generator kicks on at one point, giving them power again, but for some reason it goes back off and winds up coming on again just before the collision with the bridge. Once the crew figures out that a collision with the bridge is imminent, the harbor pilot actually alerts Baltimore Harbor letting them know of the incident, who in turn contacts the Maryland Department of Transportation and lets them know, and somehow miraculously, they are actually able to get traffic stopped on the bridge. We see several video images leading up to the crash, like this one here, where you actually still see cars on the bridge. We still see the power flickering off and on on the vessel. And in fact, minutes earlier, the traffic on the bridge was actually pretty heavy, leading you to believe this was going to be a real travesty. And it actually is. This is a tragic event. But this is the images right before the collision. As you can see, no vehicles are actually on the bridge at the time of the collision, which is just an absolute miracle. When you originally watched this entire video in its entirety seeing the whole thing happen and the amount of traffic initially on the bridge you know that cars are going into the water and then when you see it at the end and there's no cars you already know that somebody has done their job communicated this event and they've went ahead and miraculously stopped traffic from getting out there now what we don't know at that point is unfortunately there is a construction crew out there doing repairs on the bridge during the incident there are eight people reported from that construction crew and at the time of this reporting Two are recovered and six are still missing. At this point in time, an investigation is underway to try and determine what exactly happened on the dolly to put us at this point. Local authorities have claimed they're working as fast as they can to try and get the port of Baltimore back to open. As for the bridge, I gotta imagine it's gonna be quite some time before we see any vehicles going across this bridge. Our thoughts and prayers do go out to the family of the six missing people at this time. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the Bahamas where this was the scene this past weekend when the Carnival Freedom wound up catching fire for the second time in two years. The vessel was off the coast of Eleuthera heading toward Freeport as they had just canceled a port of call in Princess Cay due to weather when all of a sudden passengers on board the ship heard a loud explosion which they described as lightning striking the vessel and the next thing they knew they saw flames and smoke billowing out of one of the exhaust ports. The captain on board the vessel quickly jumped into action getting on the radio and alerting passengers to try and stay indoors as they activated fire personnel. The captain also steered the vessel into oncoming storms that had rain attached with them to help try and fight the blaze. After a few hours they were able to get the blaze out and Carnival analyzed the damage claiming that it's a little worse than they originally thought and of course the vessel's now going to have to stay in port a little while to receive repairs but nobody was injured during the incident. Thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Alex Poot, AJ Phillips and Adam Coolidge did this week and if you guys haven't already go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.